What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, Ten Nugget Tags. Now, this story I've heard, it kind of got to me, kind of got under my skin a little bit. And the reason why is that I, that this gets under my skin is where everybody knows Ten Tamara from the show Sister Sister. Everybody knows their little brother from the show Smart Guy and being on Full House. And this has kind of got to me because I did, uh, the reason why it got to me is because that this girl is getting so much hate, so much hate going towards her because she married a white man. I, and I'm sitting up there, it's like, when I heard it, I'm sitting up there, what? I say, are you kidding me? She gets ridiculed because she married a white man? I said, how did we go from 2014 and we jumped back to 1930s? Well, blacks couldn't get with whites. That's the question I was trying to figure out. It's like, what is her? What does her color and his color got to do with anything? Anything. And it kind of broke my heart because her and her sister and her little brother are mixed. I said, up there, like, you got to be kidding. Out of everything that's going on in the world that's the main thing people complain about is to see a black woman with a white man first it was the first people was complaining about the black man being with the white woman now it's the black woman being with the white man they call her a white man's hoe and I, and I looked at us like I feel her pain because I know what that's like. Yes, my mother is white. My father is black. And I still get it today. Still get it today. I still get it every damn day and I question. It's like, why? Why? Would you ridicule this woman because her husband's white and she's black? Told her this, this, she got all this from the internet. All these people telling this, saying this to her on the internet. She never bothered nobody. Say back in the day she cost three hundred dollars. Now she's just giving it away for free. And her sister Tia, she's catching hell. Because she didn't want to marry no white man like her sister did. She got here for it. But mainly, Tamara is catching the hell because she married a white man. Because she married a white man. It's the same when I sit there. And I sit there. And I look at her. I said, I know how she feel. I know what it was like growing up when I was a kid man seven eight years old man and in school eating lunch with my classmates the white woman walks up didn't know what racism was she walks up she looks at me I'm eating my food she's like I hate niggers I hate nigger lovers and nigger babies I didn't know what that was I ain't know what a nigger was. I ain't know what a nigger baby was. I ain't know what a nigger lover was. But I got looked at as a nigger. Even though my mother is white, I got looked at as a nigger. And it still got to me. And it never left my mind. I'm 29. 29, I'm catching all this hell. And I still get it today when I sit there and I do a video. 
and I still get called nigger, fucking coon, and all this shit. That's like you telling me that you that that this this shit that y'all are like y'all are like this is the 1930s, but not 2014. So like, this is 2014. We do got a black president, but the race should matter. But why would you sit there and downgrade her? Call it her a white man's whore because she is colored and he is white. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people who say, like, "Oh, why, why are you taking up for her?" But you sat there and talked all this shit about Justin Bieber, Kim Kardashian, and Rob Dyrdek. The reason why is this is different from that. See, when you, you see, she, her and her sister never bothered nobody. They never put on this act. They never put, they don't put on this BS act. Oh, I'm giving this and this and this and this and this. They don't put on this act. Like Rob Dear Dad, Justin Bieber, Kim Kardashian, none of y'all. And that's how it is. And it, 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 it hurts me because to see that people are ridiculing her because she married a white man? When did we jump back in the time machine and say we're going back to 1930s? When did we ever do that? When did we start living in the 30s instead of living in the present? When did that happen? When did we jump back from this point to probably what? 50 years, 60 years. Why? Why do? Why? 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 Why is this happening to this girl? That you would judge her because the color of her husband's skin. I'm not. I don't judge. Like. I don't judge her because the color of her skin. I loved her sister, sister. I loved her and her sister, her sister, sister. I thought that was the great show. But it is so messed up how she's getting treated now. What's wrong with people today? Oh, it's okay to suck up to people like Rob Dear Dad, Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber. Because they're, it's okay to suck up to Rob Dear Dad and Justin Bieber because they're white. Is that what it is? Okay, Rob Dear Dad and Justin Bieber are white. They can do any damn thing they want. They can break up so many laws. But it's against the law for Tamara Mari to marry a white man? Is that what it is? What was y'all when Kanye West was asking Kim Kardashian to marry him? What was y'all What was y'all complaining and bitching and moaning and groaning about that? What was y'all What was y'all big ass tweeting all this and that talking about oh kid blah, 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 whatever? Where was y'all? Where was y'all at? Where was y'all when Seal Mary Heidi Klum? Where was y'all at? Where was y'all at? Y'all okay jumping on to to Mary Mari for marrying a white man and having a white man's child? Oh, but if it's Seal marrying Heidi Klum or Kanye marrying Kim Kardashian or whoever. Y'all don't have a problem with, but when it comes down to a black woman like Tamara Mari marrying a white man and having his kid, y'all rather bitch moan and groan and do all this BS towards her because she married the wrong damn color. And I think it stinks that she has to go through all this hell because a bunch of racist ass bastard. You're you're here that he married a white man. What was y'all like when she married a white woman? Where was y'all at? Don't you know Robert De Niro, his wife, is black? Oh, where was y'all when Woody Allen married his 
adopted daughter. Nowhere around. Nowhere around. Y'all ain't throwing no bricks. Y'all give him high fives and say, yeah, I do it, Woody. Y'all about y'all alright when all these pedo y'all alright with the pedophile fucking having like y'all alright when that teacher got pregnant by her students. Not once but twice, but then she ends up marrying him. Y'all was cool with that. Oh, but no, send a black woman marry a white man. No, that's a big no-no in 2014. We don't need no black women marry no white people. Is that what it is? What was it? Back in 2013 and 2012, people was bitching about homosexuality. Two years of people bitching and complaining about gay people. Now, in 2014, we jumped from homosexuality to racism so quickly 600 years of boo of bullshit of racism and people decided to take a break on the whole racist thing and just start talking about homosexuality for two years and then people jump off that train oh it's talking about black folks it's talking about niggas man white people is that what it is is that what it is, is that, that's what I want to know Why is it such a big issue to see a black woman marry a white man? And I used to hear, I used to hear a lot of black comedians, and some some of them are activists. They tell the truth. It's like, well, back in the day, black women would already always complain a bitch about black uh, that white women are taking our black men. And they'll tell, and this is like comedians say like the reason why. White women are taking a black man because they got tired of your attitude. And that was the punchline, the joke. But that was, the, that was kind of true. But it was more to it than just the attitude. Maybe because it wasn't the color of the skin, but something else. But now when it's a black woman married a white man, all hell breaks through. We don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. We don't need to see no darker messing with no whiteies. Is that what it is? Y'all don't want to see no darkest with whiteies. But y'all don't buy it up and watch your porn movies. Y'all don't buy it up and watch your porn movies. See black dudes having sex with bl white girls, or see white, or see black girls having sex with black, uh, see black girls having sex with white dudes. Y'all don't buy see it that. But when it comes down to a black woman marrying a white man, y'all ready to get your pitch forward, light your torches, and ready to do your thing. Which makes no sense. Well, Tamara Murray speaks out on this on Oprah's show called Where Are They Now? On Oprah's network called OWN. I'm going to post a link to that down in the description box. Please check it out. This has been Afro Joe Taylor. Like T.I. is. Peace, love, and Afro Greece. Please tell me what you think. That people need to grow up. It's 2013, uh, 2014. People need to stop living in the past. Or do y'all want to still be the racist, bigots, uh, hypocrite, dick of the booty ass people on earth that's going to die for, uh, slowly and pay for death? Cause to me, I don't mind a black woman marrying a white man. I don't mind a black man marrying a white woman. But, gotta tell me what you think. I'm Afro Joe. Tell like a T.A. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Uh, follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3, and tell me what you think. Holla.